Welcome to another edition of the ID Video Market Report. I'm Anna Wells. And I'm Mike Hockett. Here are this week's top stories in distribution. In Big 50 Company news, one of the top articles this week is from our September-October print issue, and it profiles Fastenal, the Winona, Minnesota-based MRO distributor, number 12 on this year's Big 50 list. In this feature, ID reports that Fastenal is looking to improve its relationship with top customers with its new Fastenal on-site program. Fastenal on-site takes a local approach by positioning a sales rep inside of a customer's facility, ingrained to the point where they'll almost feel like an employee of the customer's company. Essentially, Fastenal takes over the tool crib, and the associate's entire job is seeking out opportunities to save that customer money, reduce their inventory, and lean out the operation. According to COO Lee Hine, Fastenal wants to offer up a family-like approach to account management, and once they're in the family, so to speak, the customer site can be incorporated into the delivery route, so just like 80% of Fastenal stores, they're able to receive five trucks a week by 8 a.m. Granger was in the news this week when the company, number three on the Big 50 list, reported its sales information for the month of August. Granger total August sales declined 2% year over year, including a three percentage point decline from unfavorable foreign exchange and a one point increase from acquisitions. Organic sales were flat with a one point increase from volume offset by a one point decline in price. Said Bill Chapman, Granger's senior director of investor relations, quote, we have a high concentration of our business with large customers throughout our diversified customer base, and these customers are experiencing the negative effects of declining oil prices, a stronger U.S. dollar, and global macroeconomic weakness. And finally, number four company HD Supply reported its 2015 second quarter financial earnings highlighted by a profit of $102 million, more than double Q2 2014's profit of $49 million. This follows HD Supply's Q1 in which it had a net profit of $242 million compared to Q4 2014's net loss of $93 million. This week, an article by Indian River Consulting's Mike Emerson got a ton of attention on our website since it not only focused on millennials, but also on how this generational set wants to be compensated. Emerson tries to unravel the complex requirements when it comes to sales compensation and determines that millennials do care about the bottom dollar, but are less motivated to get on board with your company if your package is heavily weighted in commission. The reason, says Emerson, may tie back to the fact that so many millennials are joining the workforce with some baggage in the form of student loans. Secondly, the idea of job hopping is more standard these days, and it's possible some of these prospective employees don't want to spend years building the foundation of their sales territory. In reality, they may not even be working for you in five years. Emerson suggests there is a paradox as to how to offer fixed pay and provide meaningful and motivational rewards for performance, but making sure sales reps have some skin in the game if they underperform. The best answer, he says, is to use a bonus approach where the payout matrix is not linear to performance. Some great practical advice on how to recruit this new workforce. It's a pretty interesting read. For the full article, visit our website at www.indist.com. You also won't want to miss Paul Riley's newest column, How to Differentiate in Distribution. That's it for today. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Almost lost it. Brought it back.